You want a date? You know I do, but the last time I checked is you didn't take American Express. <laughs> How's it going, big man? Man, you look like you're on the market of a shiny new watch. <laughs> big Bob Grizzly only deals with real gold, my friend. Real gold. Oh, but come on, man. I got a sale of a century going on right now. Yeah, and I'm Jim Perry. You have a good night. <laughs> And away we go. Breaker one, breaker one. This is Big Bob Grizzly coming at you live and in color. Is my sweet little mother goose anywhere out there listening on this dark and lovely Thursday night? I said breaker one. Is anyone out there listening? Most specifically, the queen of the highway herself, Miss Mother Goose. This is Mother Goose. Is that Big Bob I hear coming over my loudspeaker? Well, you bet your sweet ass it is. How we doing, baby? Oh, you know me. Still hollering that swine. How's by you? Nothing but a trailer full of frozen beef headed straight for San Antonio en route from Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I must say my sleeping quarters have been a tad bit lonely since they transferred you out to the West Coast, Mama. I'll be back out your way soon enough. Fair enough, baby. Look, I'm gonna have to cut this conversation short for the time being. Looks like I rode up upon a fella that could use a lift. Now you be careful, you hear? You never know who or what to be roaming around out there. No worries. I'm cool. Talk to you in a bit. Over and out. This is an IATL News special report. The bodies of two missing teens were found in a wooded area outside of Fayetteville earlier this morning. Local authorities have yet to confirm reports that the bodies had in fact been partially devoured. A press conference. Why are you looking a little ragged, son? Where are you headed? Mexico. What's in Mexico? Mexicans. Huh. We got a real stand up comedian in our midst, don't we? Well, do you want a lift or are you gonna take your stand up comedy act to the next asshole that comes along in the next 30 or 40 minutes? The lift will be nice. Get in the truck. Well, I can't say I can get you all the way to Mexico, but I'm on my way to San Antonio, which is pretty damn near close. Yeah, that's fine. You got a name? Yeah. Do you care to share it with us? Not right now. Well, this is probably a good time to tell you that we're not riding alone. See, I got here Jesus. He's my co-pilot. And Jesus don't do much talking unless he has to. So I uh, hope in our little journey I don't have to wake him up. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a shame you don't like to talk. That's about all I do out here on the road. It gets so lonely, I just talk on the CB and pop some speed just to keep awake. Oh, am I, uh, am I bothering you? You know, it's a dangerous town you here to go to Mexico. You got the Mercury retrograde going on. You don't know what's gonna happen. Well, if I say so myself, this is a tad bit awkward. <laughs>